Ooh, that showroom shine. That smooth glass-like texture. You know you love it, but how do you get it? Ceramic coatings. Swirlies. Whether it's the kind of jock gives you in the toilet or the kind you get in your car's paint, nobody likes them. So how do you prevent them? Well, first, you gotta make sure you're bigger than all your friends. And if that's not possible, maybe get new friends who don't think it's very funny to dunk your head in a toilet. Next, you got paint correction. So we're not just gonna talk about it. We're gonna have a professional fix the paint on this 10 year old car that I may or may not rely on to get to work. If this was one of those metal art projects where they take the grinder and they kind of make the uh, different designs on the metal, I would say you freaking nailed it. Then he's gonna protect it with Ceramic Pro, a product and process for protecting that sweet, sweet paint job that tells the world I'm somebody. Before we talk about how to correct your car's paint, let's talk about where those swirl marks come from anyway. They're actually made up of tons of super fine microscopic scratches that you see when light's reflecting off the edges of the scratches. All those tiny reflections end up looking like a spider web on your paint, especially on black and dark colored cars. Those scratches are made by swiping tiny particles, as simple as dust or dirt across the paint's surface, mostly when it's dry, but also when it's wet. That can happen in all sorts of ways. Dirty wash mitts or car covers, drawing phalluses in the dust in your friend's trunk lid, dirty car dusters, using the wrong polishing products, and improper use of a buffer. In truth, no standard clear coat or paint is tough enough to resist scratching and environmental contaminants forever. In the most scale of mineral hardness, these coatings are usually only rated between two and four. And the scale's based on one to 10. On a microscopic level, your car's finish is full of open pores. And that's why water and grit seems to stick to it. And while the bad stuff and bird poop damages it. When you wipe anything at all across your car's soft, porous paint, it's likely it's gonna add tiny scratches. And eventually, they all add up to swirls. How quickly it scratches and damages and shows up depends how careful you are and how well your paint's protected. Fun fact that I learned from experience, the emotional damage of getting a swirly from a bully doesn't show up until it's too late. And then it's really expensive to fix. So the first thing you gotta do is clean everything off the paint. Dirt, dust, bird crap. What is with all these birds? Oh, make sure you get bird poop off the car really quick. If it's not removed consistently, it starts embedding into the pores of the paint. But you clean it first, and that's simple enough. You also gotta get that last coat of wax off if you have one. Soaps designed specifically for washing your car try to balance the need to clean it and remove oils with the benefit of not removing all the old wax because that's what protects the paint underneath. But we're gonna correct the paint so we can use a more alkaline soap to break down those lipids. It's a pretty basic concept. That's a pH joke, right? I don't know, I don't know if it'll get a reaction. Well, that'll get rid of the old wax and grease and road stuff and any dirt that was on the car. But there's another step you might've heard of and that's using a clay bar. It's actually pretty cool. So when you clay a car, you're removing a lot of the contaminants on top. It's really important that the paint's as smooth as possible when we go to work on it. If not, you're gonna be working against those contaminants on top of the paint. Before you perfect the paint, you gotta get rid of the imperfections that want to stick in it. They make synthetic or natural clay bars and they make clay rags too. What they do is grab those tiny abrasive particles as they rub over the paint. Pretty cool. Now, before we protect the paint, we gotta smooth it out. And that's what they call correction. All cars have tiny swirl marks like your underpants, even cars right off the line. And it all varies on the car and the paint and when it was made, but usually clear coat thickness is somewhere from about 40 to 120 microns thick. The thicker it is, the deeper a scrape can be without getting down to the paint. But if we minimize the edges of the imperfections, we can keep the light from bouncing off at those sharp, sharp angles. And that means the imperfections are all but invisible. The light won't get cut up when it hits it because there's no sharp edges left for it to bounce off. Nice and smooth. Now, to protect it. The best known method for protecting your car's paint, probably the most widely used is applying wax. Automotive waxes are mostly made with beeswax, paraffin wax, mineral wax, synthetic wax, or carnauba wax, which is one of the most popular types. Carnauba comes off the palm leaves as rock hard yellow flakes. When you're applying carnauba or any other type of wax, the large molecules it's made of are being spread out to form a protective layer over the top of the car's paint. And that helps keep contaminants from even touching the finish. 
Wax is also hydrophobic, which means water beads up on the surface and it runs screaming away like an eyeball in an onion factory. Actually, it just means it repels water. Unfortunately, even though it's adding a protective layer to the paint, the act of waxing itself can add even more microscopic scratches to it. If any dust settles on the surface during the process, or if the applicator isn't perfectly clean, or if the wax hardens up and you need to press harder to buff it off, you can end up with swirl marks. Well, crap. And this brings us to ceramic coating. A ceramic is a non-metallic solid material making up an inorganic compound of metal, non-metal, or metalloid atoms primarily held in ionic and covalent bonds. The crystallinity of ceramic materials can range from highly oriented to crystalline, vitrified, and often completely amorphous. It's a mix of elements with strong bonds that's strong. Get it? No matter what they're called, most of these coatings contain silicon dioxide, which is more commonly known as silica. And if you don't know anything about silica, I got a little secret for you. It's used in ceramics. It's also found in quartz, which has a Mohs scale rating of about seven. Ceramic Pro uses what they call a nano-ceramic formula. This proprietary mix and application method uses silicon dioxide and titanium dioxide to create a flexible barrier between the environment and a car's paint. The molecules of ceramic coating then bond to each other covalently. It ends up being a covalent bond is one of the strongest in nature. The molecules are actually sharing electron pairs. These electron pairs are known as shared pairs or bonding pairs, and the stable balance of attractive and repulsive forces between atoms when they share electrons is what makes them so stable and hard to break. Kind of like the unbreakable bond between me and James before the operation. And where those big, hunky molecules of wax sit above the car's paint to protect it, the molecules in ceramic pros small enough to stick down inside the little spaces in the surface of the paint. So, we have ceramic coating particles bonded to each other, trapped in those little holes in the paint. Then they covalently bond to the ceramic coating on top of the paint as it's applied, effectively fastening the ceramic coating to the paint with millions of tiny covalently bonded anchors. We mentioned the Mohs scale earlier, which is how we measure hardness. But when we coat something, we need to think about scratch resistance, which is slightly different. The standard for scratch resistance was actually started by woodworking, because that's where most of the scratch resistant coatings were originally useful, protecting wood, which is soft, with a coating that's hard. They measure the rating by how resistant the coating is to a scratch with a pencil of varying hardness. And 9H is as hard as pencil graphite gets. Ceramic Pro has a scratch resistance of 9H, which means most of those tiny particles that would ruin the finish don't have any effect on the ceramic coating. That's what they call their Primo coating, 9H. And because it's so firmly attached to the surface, they guarantee it'll last at least two years with the simplest application to forever. With the heavy duty application, forever. When water makes contact with the surface, the angle of contact has a lot to do with hydrophobic or hydrophilic quality. A higher contact angle means it's more hydrophobic. Because of this, the physical layout on a surface can make it hydrophobic as well. Because the natural world is full of hydrophobic and hydrophilic surfaces, the basics of this phenomenon have been known by scientists for at least two centuries. For example, the lotus leaf is a well-known example of a hydrophobic material protecting the water-dwelling plant from becoming waterlogged. It's essentially a matter of surface chemistry, which is determined by the character characteristics of the materials used. The shape of a surface can also amplify its effects. For example, if a material is hydrophobic, creating nano patterns on its surface can increase the contact angle with a droplet, amplifying the effect and making the surface super hydrophobic. The nano patterns created by the ceramic coating make Ceramic Pro super hydrophobic. Think of the surface of Ceramic Pro like tiny little towers. This means things like dirt, bird crap, smushed bugs, tar, and even spray paint won't firmly stick to it. And water's repelled so strongly that it can encapsulate a lot of these unsavory particles and carry them right off the surface. I mean, let's say two weeks after they coat your car, you take it up to the mountain and beat the crap out of it, huh? and you just hose it off! This stuff's heat resistant up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. That means Ceramic Pro can be applied to protect things like brake calipers, wheels, or even exhaust without melting off like wax would. Imagine hosing off brake dust without scrubbing. That is awesome. I can't tell you how crazy it was. That Subaru is almost 10 years old. 
It looked like it's brand new. It looked like it had a new coat of paint. And then we beat the crap out of and hosed it down and then it all just washed off. And now people are like, man, I don't need to clean this car. I just beat it up anyways. Well, now you get to tool around in the dirt and the mud and have a clean car. <laughs> Thanks, dudes. Ceramic coatings. If you're interested in ceramic pro coating for your car, go to ceramicpro.com slash donut. They'll give you a free quote for the service on your car. And if you fill out their form, you're going to be entered into a ceramic pro gold coat Giveaway! Worth over $1,700! Thanks, Ceramic Pro! Click this yellow button to subscribe to Donut. We got new shows every day. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Donut Media. Follow me at Bids Bardo. We got new stuff at our merch page, shop.donut.media. Check out this episode of Miracle Whips. Oh, and check out this very special episode of New Car Show. Don't tell my wife I could have gotten Ceramic Pro on her car, but chose mine instead.